everything in the context of the enormity of this decision to close the news of the world seems utterly trite, but I'm going to say it anyway because it's a truth. We have been fighting at News International since 06 to back off against the onslaught of attacks that the, the, the paper gets. So, you know, you have led the news agenda because of past mistakes, but you've also set the news agenda for your exclusives one week after week the BBC News. I often wonder what they do what what, what they what, what will they do without the news of the world the BBC. But we don't get that message across. It's not like and if you if you feel that we haven't as a company I, I put out a statement today, which will, as everything seems to, end up on the Media Guardian. I put out a statement today saying exactly that. The fact is that, you know, I've, I've been proud of quite a few things in my career, but probably even more so than, than Sarah's law, right? And, and I suppose it was the first time that uh, I read the headline, obviously I've read it a lot, uh, since then, but it was the first time in 2000 that I read a headline, you know, Murdoch to fire Wade within days, it was in 2000, and that was over Sarah's Law, and I remember the team spirit of the paper where you all who were there came alongside me and we fought for something we believed in. I remember when we saw all the news headlines that came in the next day, we were rubbish everywhere, and then there was an opinion poll which said 97% of the British public agree with you, and we were like, right. Here we are, we're off and running. And so I feel very strongly beat exactly the same as you. And that's why I said mounting anger. And you know, I, I'm not saying, I'm, you know, this is not exactly uh, the best time in my life. But I'm determined to get um, vindication for this paper. And for people like you. Will the paper come out again then once you've got vindication for it? Well... But what I don't understand is, can't you see that you're, by your actions yesterday, you're calling our newspaper toxic, right? We're all in, contaminated by that toxicity, by the way we've been treated. But can't you see the bigger picture? That by your actions yesterday, you're making the whole of News International toxic. Well, look, There's I... an arrogance that you think we want to work for you again as well. <laughs> You know what, there's not an arrogance about what, are you wanting to work for us again at all. I mean, I'm sorry if that came across. Uh, all I meant was that if any of you did want to, that I was going to try and find opportunities. But please believe me, there's, there's no arrogance coming from this standpoint. But on, 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 your, on your point about, you know, um, you know will the, I think you said, will the paper come out again? I mean, you know, we have, we have a, a belief in journalism, we have invested in journalism through our history. Um, yes, we're in a very bad moment, but we will continue to invest in journalism. And we haven't made the decision on any new publications or uh, exist uh, 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 strengthening or uh, expanding existing ones yet. It's too, it's too soon. We just don't know what to do. But in those circumstances, there's, I don't see there's any of you in this room here, looking at me now, that we wouldn't want to, 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 to work because we, we know there's no, there's no toxicity uh, attached to you guys in the room. I mean, that's the sadness. It wouldn't be sad. We wouldn't all be feeling like this if you guys were up to your neck in it like previous colleagues. We wouldn't be feeling like this, would we? Mm -hmm. So when Monday broke, um, I've, I've still no idea if it's true. I don't know if you know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. Uh, we, when the tri original trial um, happened in 06, the judge put out, as you, you're probably all as familiar with the stats as me, but the judge put out a, a pre-sentencing uh, pre statement that from the police investigation last time that phone hacking started in 2004, I've always believed that. And I never knew any different. I have no idea. So say, say I had seen these allegations, had no idea if they weren't true, but put in my resignation and said, fine, go, not leave company, sick of this crisis. Someone's made an allegation against me that I have no idea if it's true and no one knows if it's true, but because it's me, because it's the usual 
you know, Guardian, BBC, Witch Hunt, I'll go, right? So I did that. Do you think then, who would have carried the can for the dead soldiers, the 77 victims, Sarah Payne, and all the other alleged alleged claims that came out the following week, would that have all gone? Because I'm not a cabinet minister, in case you haven't noticed, and I'm neither an elected civil, civil serv I'm neither a civil servant, I'm a working journalist who worked here since I was 19 years old, particularly in this paper, and to your point, right? If Okay, so you're trying to say to me, that because an allegation came in that we don't know if it was true on Monday, you think I should have resigned because we'd never have to have closed the news of the world. It's just not true, right? And to Pete's point, there are lots of people thinking you worked before 2006 in this company, you worked for the news of the world for, for the large majority of their lives, who are also totally innocent and vindicated of any of these allegations that we still don't know if it's true. Now, if you are saying, if you're saying to me, like it happened in 2006, where there was a trial and two people went to jail, two people went to jail, and there was a and and, and at that point, uh, the editor resigned. Then you know, if you're saying that we're we're, we're not at that point, yet. we're just not. And and the fact is that if you think that it is a bundle of glass going through trying to fight and get this company's reputation back. It isn't, but I, it's something I want to do. We have the police in the building. We're going through, we're, we're, going, we're, we're voluntarily disclosing stuff from, from way back then. We have more visibility, perhaps, on what we can see coming um, our way than, than, than you guys can. And, and, and look, I can only... And, you know, I'm tied because of the criminal investigation of what I can say. But you know, you, you, I, I think in a year's time, every single one of you in this room might come up and say, "Okay, well, I see, I see, I see what you saw now, and I can see that it was." It is. We have it. It is also a business, by the way. It is also a business where you've got a dual revenue situation, right? Cover price and advertising. 